Congratulations, you won Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, when we had you on the show for that, I was really impressed. I was like, oh, you're really, really good. So I thought you had a good shot at it. But I know this means a lot, not only to you, but to your parents. This is like a huge deal. Yeah, so um, after the Olympics, I went on the show. Thankfully, I won. And my mom decided that she wanted to put the Mirrorball trophy on the coffee table in the center of our living room. Sure. Um, so yeah, when people walk in, it's kind of like, oh, that's a little weird. Maybe we should put it in a corner or something. <laughs> No, but it should, it belongs right there on the coffee table. You earned that, and that's they should they should show that off. Where are your gold medals? They they're showing that off more than your gold medals. Um, well, the gold medals those are kind of hidden. I see. Safe somewhere. And this is on the coffee table. Yeah. I see. Well, everyone has their priorities. Um, <laughs> so that was a big year for you, 2016. And now, uh, what are your goals for 2017? I think I want to go on a date. <laughs> I've never been on a date before, so I think that would be a lot of fun. And I want to get my driver's license. Wait, wait, you want, you've you never been on a date because you've been just working <laughs> your whole life, right? Yeah. But, <laughs> so, uh, wow. So how are you going to do that? What, I mean, how are you going to meet a guy? Um, what are you going to do? You have to have a plan. I don't have a plan. Well, you need a plan. You need to, you know, go to parties or you need to, like, meet somebody through friends or then... You... If he looks like Dave Franco, then it's fine. I know. <laughs> you love Dave Franco, don't you? Yeah, he's cute. So that's, that's, that's your type, is Dave Franco kind of guy. <laughs> are you going to, will you have time to date? If you, are you going to go to the 2020 Olympics? Um, I think so. I mean, I had such a good time in 2016, so I'd love to go back and do that again. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I think I want to take a small break. I mean, there is, like, you know, three years left. So yeah. I think I just need a nap or something. Yeah. Because that's a lot of work. That's really hard work. Yeah, and if I come back, it would for sure just be for myself, because it takes a lot. And now your teammates were in, uh, it, it hasn't come out yet, but the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit yeah. Edition. It, how do you feel about that? I feel, I mean, I'm so happy for them. These girls are like my sisters, and Simone and Ali, they look gorgeous. And mm -hmm. it really excites me to see that Sports Illustrated is promoting strong and powerful bodies out there. So yeah. It's good for everyone. Yeah. That's fantastic. You get yourself in there, you get a date. Um, I think I have to ask my mom first. All right, all right, yeah, you should ask your mom before you do that, but then you'll, you'll get a date if you do that. Um, <laughs> we can just photograph you here doing that, and we'll send that out, all right? Oh, okay. All right, let's talk about this book, because I mentioned in it, so it is must-read. Yeah. Uh, thank you for mentioning me. Of course, I couldn't just write a book and not have you in it. Oh, well, that's you. just, I, <laughs> I wish everyone who wrote a book said that. <laughs> So let's talk about the book. Why did you write it and, uh, and tell me all about it? So basically, I wrote it more just because like, at such a young age, I set this gigantic goal for myself. And I went through a couple, a couple rough patches. But I had my family and my friends to support me through that. And I hope that just inspires everyone to set goals for themselves and try something new. Yeah, so Dancing <laughs> with the Stars, you accomplished that. There's another show I know that you want to do. What is it? It's Law and Order. I <laughs> Yeah. I love Law so and Order. So do I. And like, Mariska Hargitay, she's amazing. She's the best. She's, she's the best. And I know the theme song by heart. Yeah. So, yeah. Portia and I watch it and we always try to guess when it goes, clonk, clonk. You know, we always try Oh, to, I nail it every time. Really? I sometimes jump it and it's like, not clonk, clonk. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> they got sometimes me. Sometimes it's just like, nah. Yeah. I know. I'm always like, clonk, clonk. Um, <laughs> well, we have a, a little surprise for you. Take a look at this. Hey, Lori, it's Mariska. And Ice-T. And we're here on the set of Law & Order SBU with our rope expert. And we just want to say that we are huge, huge, huge fans of yours. And uh, I don't know what you guys did this summer, but I sat in front of my TV and you pretty much rocked our world. So we just want to say thank you. We're in awe of you. Oh, and you are an inspiration to girls everywhere. And we would like you to come visit us, and we would like you to come be on our show. I want to see the gold medal. Cool. Yeah! <laughs> USA! 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 So, so, Ellen. How about that? You're oh going to be on God. Law & Order. That would be so cool. <laughs> I know. That's great. Lori's book is called I Got This to Gold and Beyond. It's in bookstores January 24th. Everybody in the audience is going home with a copy. We'll be back.